Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to have a tutorial on this stackable item filter. Sometimes you have items which are stackable, such as I have my inventory here. I have 16 cobblestone. Stackable. If you look at the uh, sh wooden shovels, they're not stackable. That's why I have to have one in each slot. But sometimes you might need a way to filter out those items so you can separate them out. And the trick comes with using the comparator. The comparator here is checking the contents of the, of the hopper here. Now the comparator, when it sees a non-stackable item, will generate a signal of 3. Whereas if it's a stackable item, it'll generate a signal of 1. And because of that, we can use that to filter out items. So what we have here is, as you can see here, the comparator is going in and it's going to go 3 signal, 1 block here, 1 block here is 2, and the torch. So it will turn the torch off, which will turn this redstone circuit off below it and because it's going into this block this lower hopper then becomes unlocked which allows items to go through it if that makes any sense so when a signal is three non-stackable item it goes through here turns off this circuit which unlocks the hopper allowing non-stackable items to go down otherwise if it's signal one this stays the same it stays locked and therefore the item will then continue on and go down the other line because if you look at the hoppers off the chest is coming through here. It's trying to go straight across and then down. But the default behavior of a hopper is try to go down first, then go out the output. So it will try to go here first, but because this is locked, it won't let it do anything, so it goes on. So if you see here, I'm going to put into this, let's put in a wooden shovel, 16 items there, and another wooden shovel. And then we'll watch them go out of the hopper, out of the chest, I mean, into the hopper chain. And it goes through the entire circuit, and if you look down here, stackable items, 16, and we got our two wood shovels. Okay? It's pretty easy. Let's just go ahead and we'll start to build this out just so you can see how easy it is. Um, you could probably just do it from looking at it, but I'll show you how I build it. To start off with, I'm just going to use a 2x1 uh, block section here, and I like to label so I know what's going on. So this is non-stackable. And this one is a stackable side. Okay? Now, uh, you put down a chest on one and a trap chest on the other. They have to be different because they're right next to each other. That's pretty basic right there. Now, what you want to do is you want to put a hopper going down into each of those. Okay? That makes sense? Now, on the stackable side, put a hopper going down. And then put two hoppers going into that hopper right there. So one, two. Okay? And then on top of that you put a chest. That's your source. Here's the hopper flow going down. Everything looks great. Okay, so now we go on the back here and we're going to set this up. On the back of this hopper that's going down, put a block. Okay, and on top of that we're going to have our comparator. That's going to check the output of this uh, hopper here. Okay, now uh, you can go right to the side of the, of the um, comparator and you can then, if you shift click, you can put two blocks, okay? Put two redstone there, and I need to get a torch. And put a redstone torch on the side, okay? So now you've done that first part of the circuit. Now we got to go back into it. So what I do is I go underneath and put a stone slab. You can put blocks if you like. I like stone slabs, okay? But then you put two redstone, and then you put a repeater. And that's it. That's a simple circuit. It's ready to go. So um, let's see here. Let's put in some items. Let's see. Um, let me get some more here just to show a test. Let's get 16 of these. Okay. We'll throw that in. And then we're going to get, uh, let's get some of the uh, wooden shovels. And we're going to test this out just to show you. Now, one thing I didn't point out in my uh, previous uh, section was one item will always be stuck in this hopper right here so we only have two here and one is actually in the locked hopper and that's fine typically because it'll be flushed through the next time it goes off another item goes through so if we had a wooden pick that went through as an example the wooden pick would be stuck and then the shovels are there so if you look at my example here there's a wooden shovel there and there's our two wooden shovels so yeah that's very easy to build and that way you can 
filter out stackable versus non-stackable items, and then do what you want with the non-stackables. Uh, this is great for a sorting system because you can use the uh, non-stackable items to go into like a different bucket than all the rest of the stackable items, which go through the regular system of storage to be sorted out. Another instance, and this is the reason why I am building this right now, is because I want to build a uh, AFK fish farm, which has a lot of non-stackable items, enchanted books, bows, fishing rods, that sort of thing. So I want to have a way of filtering out those items which are stackable so they can be stacked and nice and neat, and the other ones that are not. So this is what I plan on using in Tinker World when I get the chance. I want to thank you today in joining me on this tutorial of how to build a stackable item filter. If you like this video, please click the like button. Also, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I really read all the comments and I respond as when I can. And if you would like to, please subscribe to this channel so that you can get notified of any other videos that I produce. And also I ask that if you know anybody who would enjoy this channel or maybe you want to spread the word and help me out so I can get a better subscriber base and viewer base, I would really appreciate it. Again, I am Tinker77. I want to thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.